a nice jacket to hide the fact you're wearing a sports bra and you just make the top half of you look good. Hello everyone, how are you all doing? I hope it is well. Um, I got a request the other day from one of my friends who some people don't wear a lot of makeup. They got nice skin. <laughs> they don't like glitter. <laughs> you know, um, they don't want blue on their eyelids. And like, while I respect it, it's not often for me. Um, but I will say, sometimes you just gotta look decent and go. You know, I don't have four hours to do an eyeshadow look every single Tuesday. So I respect and I understand. And so this video is for my girls who do, my girls, guys, non-binary fries. This is for everyone who does not wear a lot of makeup and who wants the fewest amount of tools, products, steps, as possible. Uh, I'm not gonna guarantee this is like a five minute makeup tutorial, because I don't know. Depends on how long you take. I, I'm giving you guys two different versions. One is the bare minimum. These are the only things you need to do to like survive, you know? And then there's the, this is what I recommend though for like a natural no makeup makeup beat, you know? Um, so I'm gonna, explain to you the first one and then we're gonna do the second one the like absolute bare necessities bare necessities the simple bare necessities anyway the bare necessities would be these five products and then this one tool actually i lied you really just gotta have an eyelash curler but besides this, which you should just be using every time you apply mascara, um, I really had to think about which brush to pick for this because I'm trying to make it as easy as possible. So if you only want to buy like three brushes, you only have to buy three. So concealer, pick a concealer that is your skin color, not your highlight shade, You just your skin color. Um, because you can wear this underneath your eyes to get rid of your eye bags, but then you can also put it on top of your blemishes um, and in any areas that you are worried about. Okay? Okay. Then you need a setting powder of some sort. I suggest a big old boy like this because you will never run out of it. Um, and to you use the powder to set your concealer, obviously, and I would suggest this brush because then you can set your concealer and you can probably set your whole face with it because it has like, it's nice and soft and it has kind of like a pointy tip that can get right underneath your eye and also swipe. And then I would say that you would need a bronzer um, cause you could use this brush for contour. This is not the brush I normally use for contour, but I could see someone if you're, especially someone who likes that like patting technique. Um, but also if you like the swirling technique, like what I use, definitely this would be good for both of those two products. And then you need an eyebrow pencil because you gotta do your eyebrows. And I think the quickest, easiest way to do your eyebrows is a brow pencil. Foolproof pretty much 99% of the time. And then you need mascara, 100%. Yeah, you can't walk outside without it. You don't have to prime. I use primers for my pores, my oiliness, or I need more SPF because I'm doing it in the middle of the day. Um, and so if you do not have those problems and you moisturize your skin really well, take care of your skin, you probably don't need a primer. And setting spray, while they're great, it's not the end of the world if you don't have it because you used a really good powder. Here's my actual recommendation for what you should be doing like at all times. Um, if you are ever in like a rush, hurry, anything like that. First things first, I would suggest for all my no makeup makeup peoples, get yourself a BB cream. Um, or if you already have a foundation that you enjoy, but you want it to be lighter coverage, mix it with your normal moisturizer. Um, just to lighten up the coverage a little bit, give yourself a little bit more of that natural finish. Um, and that's my recommendation on what to do for your general face coverage. If you want a little bit more than just concealer on some spots, okay? So I am going to use this one, which is good for my acne because as I have said a thousand times on this channel, your girl has, say it with me y'all, acne prone skin. So I literally am going to apply this with my fingers because 
it is 7 a.m. You have class at 8 and you need to also eat lunch and take a shower and put your makeup on and do that reading that you forgot about until five seconds ago and do the homework that is also due before class starts. You know, like, we don't have time to go wet a beauty blender just for it to absorb all of the freaking BB cream that we just put on our skins. So you see that that didn't really do all that much, but it did even out my skin tone and gave me a general nice base coverage and color to work with. Your fingers and your hands are your best tool, 100%. I apply my concealer with my finger all the time. Not like even when I'm doing like heavy makeup, I still apply my concealer with my finger because I just think it's the best tool to get in and around my eye and into every single nook and cranny. So my suggestion is to put concealer, you know, on your eyes and anywhere that you might need it. So like I obviously have some acne spots right now and I am going to put some concealer on them. So my next product is that powder I was talking about earlier and my next tool, my very first tool that I am telling you guys that you should get is a puff of some sort um, because they really just are to me the best way to set the under eye um, and the entire face quickly, efficiently and making sure that you really locked everything in. But also if you are someone who doesn't have super oily skin like me or you have super dry skin, maybe you don't want to set your whole face, you know? Um, I would suggest setting the under eyes just because they will crease and there's just nothing you can do about that. So I would suggest setting your under eyes at least. Now the next three things I'm going to suggest are bronzer. Like I said earlier, you only need bronzer really. Um, but I am going to add my blush and my highlight because I just think that if you're going to do a full face, I think that your cheeks are so much more important than your eyes. Um, because they really do finish a look like I've just put on brows and bronzer before and I'm like wow what a difference it does and then the second tool I'm telling you is you're gonna need a big fluffy brush you're not going for anything crazy here you're really just trying to warm up the outside of the face and give yourself back a little dimension that you might have lost earlier so now I was going to say that you should use a different brush for blush but honestly, you, if you have a towel in front of you, just wipe off the bronzer you just used and use the exact same brush for blush. And you're going to apply your blush more towards the tops of the cheeks and the outer. Well, I do because I have a round face. So now I'm going to go back in with that contour. But here I am taking our third tool and you're gonna go in with the bronzer again. I definitely put way too much on that brush. And I'm gonna contour my nose real quick. Nothing crazy, just a quick powder contour. Just again, adding some dimension to the face, especially when you got a big Mexican heritage nose like I do. We really try to tame the beast every once in a while, you know? And again, I would say that you could also get a new brush for highlighter too. Um, if you did, I would suggest a brush like this, just a little bit bigger and fluffier, but you can 100% do highlighter with a tiny little blender brush like this. A little bit on my brow bone, my nose lip and that's really kind of it for highlighter um, and I forgot I just keep going back to the bronzer and this is why I say bronzer is just so important man now you're gonna take the same exact brush bronzer and you're gonna take it into the crease of your eye and you can 
fill this up as much as you want or leave it as natural as possible. Um, and I would say, you know how I, you saw me doing the contour earlier and then I fluffed it into the beginning of my brow? This is where you connect the crease and the inner corner of your brow. And then you're gonna take the same brush, but you're gonna take a little bit, but only on like the very tip and you're gonna go underneath your eye. I might have went a little ham, but it's okay. And now you're gonna take your finger in your highlighter and you can put this on the lid or in the inner corner, or you can do the whole thing. I'm gonna put it in the inner corner only because to me, that is the point of my eye that I want to accentuate the most. And there you go. This is a little bit of a weird highlighter to be using in that sense, um, but I have done it many times before and I will continue to do it in the future. Okay, so there you go. You got an eye look, you got your cheeks done. Now, um, all I would suggest is eyebrows so same eyebrow pencil I was talking about earlier get yourself an eyebrow pencil with the spoolie in the back so that you again you don't have to have more tools and this is the quick eyebrow that I always do um, you're gonna trace you're gonna brush your eyebrow hairs where you want them to lay and then you're basically gonna underline your brows hairs so at the very edge of the brow, I make a clear, strong line, okay? And then I fill in like half of the brow and back pretty strongly because I have no eyebrow tails. So I have to fill them in pretty strongly. If you're someone who has eyebrows, and you're fine with the thickness of them, the color of them, all that jazz. Just put some eyebrow gel in if you want, um, or just leave them natural. Make sure to brush them through so that there's no like super um, white, like, you know, setting powder or anything in there, and you're good. So now that you've filled in the tail, you're going to take very feather light strokes in the front upwards. So you see how I'm flicking upwards? That is my suggestion on that. And then just keep going back and forth until you like it. And then the spoolie is really important because it honestly helps you blend everything together at the end. Okay, and there you have it, a brow. It really takes like 30 seconds, especially if you're not talking. And now I'm going to suggest you curl your lashes some people hate curling their lashes and live without it. Your girl has the most white, straight, pin freaking lashes in the world. So there's no way in hell you are catching me without curling my lashes first. So I curl my lashes and then I just put some mascara on. And now we let the top dry because y'all know me. I really always end up getting mascara everywhere. I would suggest just put some chapstick on after you're done, or if you're someone who, like me, has pretty bare lips, I would suggest a nice tinted chapstick. Um, I've had this one for too long, uh, and I literally... I just put that thing on like chapstick. Boom, there you go, you're done. Or you, it, like I said, if you have nice luscious lips, just put on some normal chapstick. Um, but if you don't want to get a colored tinted chapstick or you think that they all look dumb, um, you can always just get yourself a nice lipstick um, color and just put some chapstick on before and then put on like a light little coat of this and then blend them together with your finger and totally 10 out of 10, you are good to go. Put on my lower lashes now. And then here I would suggest that if you're someone like me, I'm trying to grab it without using my eyeballs to find it. Um, I love a good waterline, um, white, nude, 
eyeliner moment. Um, I'm not going to do it this time, but if you are looking for a little bit some, some, some extra, that is my next suggestion. And then my next, next suggestion is if you um, are, again, if you're someone who's worried about your makeup, you're wearing it for all day, you live in Charleston, South Carolina, you know, um, hot, humid places, anything like that, um, I would suggest a good setting spray. Um, but if not, if you're just sitting in your house like I am, does it really matter? So yeah, like this is my minimalist makeup. This is eight products. The concealer, the powder, the eyebrow pencil, the bronzer, the highlighter, the chapstick, the blush and the BB cream. So this is eight products, three more products than you would have used in the other version. But wait, I lied, I'm sorry. It is um, nine products, so it is four more than you would have used in the other version. And then you have four tools. So an uh, eyelash curler, a puff of some sort, a small but fluffy blending brush, and then a big all over the face brush. You wanna add a little some something, you can add a primer, you can add a, um, white nude inner waterline moment, um, some setting spray, um, and also get yourself a cute little palette. You know, if you're a neutrals person, get yourself a couple of neutrals. Um, I will say my very first palette I ever got was actually, my one of my friends didn't use it, and it was a very just little itty bitty neutral palette. And then I worked my way up to the Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, this was Actually, I think I got the 35O first, and I used the crap out of that, and then I got the Jaclyn Hill palette. Because this, to me, is just like new, like a beginner heaven. Because you have literally five, three rows of just neutrals, you know, and neutrals ranging from, you know, more red tones to more yellow tones to more like actual true neutrals. Um, and then you have, you know, like your deeper purple shades down here, deeper browns, and then you have just like a couple of fun shades you got some dark greens turquoises purples you know so i was able to play with color while also being able to use the entirety of the palette um on like a day to day you don't have to get something this big i would even suggest like um from my last makeup related video i would suggest like you know a little nine palette like something like the um gryffindor or the hufflepuff little nine palettes um, I know Morphe has some little nines like this. ColourPop has some small, cute little palettes too. Um, so yeah, uh, those are the couple of flare things you could do if you wanted, but this is a couple of options for like your bare necessities. Um, if you're just starting out with the makeup collection or if you're someone who really just wants everything to fit in a bag. Like I have a whole desk set up here. All these drawers you hear me opening, that's because this is my vanity. You know, I have a collection of things, um, so I could never fit all my stuff in a bag. But if you are someone who wants to fit all your stuff in a makeup bag, 100% you could fit these products in a makeup bag and you are good to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, f I hope you found it helpful. Um, and I had a really good time making it. I honestly was sitting here doing some reading, watching some video voice lectures, you know, um, stuff like that. And I was just I was too distracted by the thought of this video um, and so I was like I just have to film it I have to get it out of my system um, because I'm not gonna be able to focus until it's filmed so I am glad that you guys are here I really appreciate you spending your time with me this Sunday and I hope to see you in the next one bye guys